Hello my beautiful buds, welcome back to my channel. So we are having a rare moment of sun here in the Seattle area. So I thought that I would film for you guys because it's been really difficult to film because it's so dark out all the time, the lighting always looks like crap. But ironically, today I am filming a cold weather slash winter clothing haul for you guys. Moving from Southern California to Washington has definitely been a huge climate change. And I have bought a lot of pieces uh, for warmth and layering in the last month or so since we've been here. A lot of these are more splurgy pieces, but I got a really great deal on them. So some of them aren't like the most affordable, but I feel like it was worth it to spend a little bit more money on stuff to keep me warm because otherwise I was gonna hate living here if I was freezing all the time and I didn't want that. So the first couple of things that I bought are both sweaters. Um, I'm actually wearing the first one. It is this bright red sweater. It's from Aerie. They were doing 50% off so I got the sweater for $25. It's just so festive and it's also really soft. This by itself isn't like the warmest thing in the world but I've been layering underneath it and also on top of it and it's really good to have like an extra layer of like coziness. I also got this sweater from Madewell and I believe with the sale that they were having which this was on sale to begin with and they were doing an extra 25% off sale and then 30% off store wide. So I got like 55% off of the sale price which was nuts. I believe this came out to like $20, $25 and it is this blue balloon sleeve sweater and it has like pink yarn running through it and I just think it's really cute. It's definitely a little bit of like a fancier take on a sweater um, which I like because I can wear it without feeling like a lump. <laughs> it's from Madewell but it has very like anthropology vibes to it as well. And I like this one because the knit is like pretty close together. So if you wear like a long sleeve t-shirt and then this, you are pretty warm. So speaking of long sleeve t-shirts, I bought a couple for layering. The first one is the striped one. This is so like linty because I actually pulled it out of the laundry to film this video, but it's going back in the laundry after that. Um, but it's just this like, I think it's black stripes. They look, they're like kind of in between navy blue and black. You know what I'm saying? When you can't really tell. Um, but it's just a striped long sleeve t-shirt. This is from the brand Universal Thread and it was $8. I really like these because they have this seam down the back in the middle which I think is like a really cool take and like detail on a really basic t-shirt but it's still just a very basic t-shirt and I also got that in this red color um it's just like a, a whiny kind of red and same thing it has this seam which I think is really cool these are great for layering under sweaters too because the neck isn't like too high so it doesn't show above like a crew neck sweater which is really great then in the realm of long sleeve t-shirts this one isn't necessarily like super warm um but I loved it so I couldn't not buy it it's definitely wintry so it's this like cream wrap top from Madewell um the sleeves are elasticated at the end so it gives you that like balloon sleeve look um and it's just like a wrap and then it has this cute little bow on the side I just think this is so cute and I'll probably wear it tonight um, because it's New Year's Eve right now when I'm filming this so I'll probably wear it for New Year's Eve no don't get dark again and I definitely also needed a few turtlenecks for layering um, and I just started by buying one because they can be kind of expensive this was like $15 at Aerie it is this ribbed maroon turtleneck it's so soft I love this because it's full length. It's not cropped um, like the gray one I have from Brandy Melville. Um, so yeah, this is cute on its own. It's cute under a coat. It's cute tucked in. It's cute not tucked in. I feel like this is gonna be a really versatile piece in my wardrobe and I've only had it for like a week and a half and I've already worn it like two or three times. Okay, so moving on to the things that are actually keeping me warm. Um, the first thing is this Sherpa. So I follow Brie Shepard on Instagram and she's always wearing Sherpas and I really wanted one because I thought they always looked so cute on her but they were all like $75 and I was not down to pay $75 for like essentially like a blanket for your top half. Um, so I found this one actually on Ruli and it was on sale for $29.99. It's by the brand Love Tree. I got this in a medium so that I could wear like sweaters underneath it if I wanted to for even more warmth. And it's this cool like charcoal gray but then the tips are like frosted white so the overall look is like a light gray and then the collar is white. This is so fuzzy. It's so soft. It's got pockets. And of course, I'll link everything that I'm talking about down in the description box in case you guys are interested in it. But I believe this was called the Alaska Pullover. So I also got three coats and I got three because they were all a really, really good deal. So the first one is this camel colored coat from Madewell. It's got these super unique pockets and really wide sleeves. 
It's kind of lightweight, but it's 100% merino wool, so it's actually really warm. It's a little bit cropped. My only complaint about this is that it doesn't have like a button to like fasten it in the front, so I kind of just have to like wrap myself up in it. Um, but it's so cute, and I've never had like a camel colored coat, but I have already found myself reaching for it a ton, especially when I'm wearing an outfit that's like a little bit more dressed up, like with that blue bubble sleeve sweater earlier. Oh, this is so cute. So next, everybody told me that I needed to get a puffer jacket, so I did. I got. This army green puffer jacket from Madewell. Again, this was pretty pricey. I believe it was $128, but I got the 30% off the um, like store-wide holiday discount that they did. So it ended up coming to like 89, I think, high 80s. This is really, really lightweight, um, but it is pretty warm. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit warmer, so I'm undecided on if I'm gonna keep it or not, but it is really cute. It's cropped and it was made in collaboration with Prima Lux, which I guess is like some kind of a like winter clothing brand. I got it in a large even though I'm normally a smaller or medium because I figure if I'm wearing a puffer jacket I'm gonna want a lot of layers underneath it because it probably means that it's really cold out wherever I am um, so I wanted to be able to wear like a tank top and a long sleeve top and a sweater and this so I got it in a large just to be safe. Then lastly, I also got this coat from Madewell. It is a sweater coat and it's really long. So it hits kind of like just above my knees and it's double breasted. So it's got these cool tortoise shell buttons on it. And again, this is 100% merino wool. So it is really nice and warm. So that is it for all of the cold weather or winter clothes that I've bought um, since moving to Seattle. I definitely need them. <laughs> and if you guys know of any like more essential layering pieces um, that you would recommend Recommend, please leave them down in the comments down below because there are still some basics I need um, I've been putting like leggings under my jeans, but I've heard that like silk or like thermal material is better um, So I still need to find some stuff like that But overall I'm really happy with the way that this kind of like it's almost like a mini winter capsule Has turned out just because I think that it keeps me warm But it also still makes me feel stylish and I don't feel too like marshmallowy and all the stuff is really versatile and comfortable as well Which is really great. If this is your first time on this channel, please don't forget Forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be a bud on my channel and never miss when I upload a video. As usual, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you guys all with my next video. Bye!